Hello, hello, hello. Hey, y'all. It's your girl, Empress Cheryl. I am the person, the face behind um, Jazzy Spirit Led Readings. So I wanted to come on and like just talk and like speak life into you. Um, whoever is viewing this, trust that, you know, you came across it at the time that you needed to come across it. That's just how I move, which is why I calls it call it jazzy spirit led readings um the jazzy is actually for my children i have four kids so it's their initials but spirit led just because i do things when i get the urge and the nudge from spirit to do things to act on act on stuff so i felt the nudge so that's what i'm doing okay so back to what i was saying so i wanted to speak life into those individuals who are interested in um creating something like creating something that is um yours that is your own creating something from your mind from the intelligence your god-given intelligence um or insight downloads whatever you are um you know, whatever you do, whatever is your thing, whatever creative nature you have, if you want to create and develop, invent or whatever, I just wanted to speak life into you about that. Okay, so for me, a um, little brief story, um, and I'm kind of working myself up to how I created these cards, this deck, this Jazzy Divinely Inspired Messages. So, a couple years back, I was interested in um, learning more about um, readings, like tarot readings and oracle card readings and all of that. I was just kind of like interested in, in drawn to it, but um, I did not know where to start. So around that time, um, I was trying to homeschool my children. It was like um, around the pandemic, like when the pandemic first started or something like that. So, um, I pretty much, you know, kind of like pray, like, hey, you know, I'm interested in moving in this direction. Guide me, let it, you know, come into my existence, my being or, you know, whatever. So, you know, that's just kind of like how I move. So, um, or how I've grown to move because, you know, it wasn't always like that. So, anyway... Saying all that, um, I ended up getting like, okay, so at the time I was homeschooling my children. So um, my father, who had like a hauling business, was um, hauling off um, some things for a woman who, um, I don't know if she was like a teacher or a judge or something like that. Whatever the case was, she was getting rid of a lot of things that she used to have. Um, and in, in it was a whole bunch of books. So it was a whole bunch of books um, like for teachers. So it was like a whole bunch of school stuff or whatever. So my dad had just kind of like put it all in like boxes and bags and then just asked me if I wanted, um, you know, look through, see what I wanted or whatever. So I looked through it. It was a lot of things in there, but guess what else was in there? It was three Oracle card decks. So three Oracle card decks in there. And I was like, oh look at God. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. So then I was like, okay, so now I can, you know, like really study and learn and, you know, try to see how I connect with this. Okay. So the first, the three, the three decks that were in there, um, which were the first decks that I, you know, just started kind of really connecting with spirit on was, um, this sacred geometry deck, which is, this is the guidebook here. Um, the other one was this, um, uh, Angel's Blessings deck, um, right here. It's the guidebook. And then this other one was this, um, Tau Oracle deck. So, um, I just started kind of doing readings for myself. Like I wrote out, um, like I kept a little notebook and I started, um, like looking up different spreads and just trying to connect with the cards and build a relationship with the cards and kind of see like what they meant for me or whatever. Like at that time, I was not interested in 
doing readings for anyone else or putting it out there or anything like that. It was just like my own personal thing, my personal journey. So, you know, then I finally got to the point where I was like, well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm connecting a little better. Like I felt more, you know, confident in it, started connecting more. And I was like, okay, well, I'll do, um, the pick a pal written messages. So that's initially how this page got started. So I was like, I'll do the, um, pick a pal written messages. And it depends on if you're watching it on my personal page or the Jazzy Spirit Lair readings page. But anyway, so this is how, you know, my page got started or whatever. And, you know, initially I wasn't showing like my face or who I was or anything like that because I still had, um, some programming. I'll say that I still had some programming that I needed to release. Um, I grew up, um, in the church. I loved the church. I never actually, you know, like talked down um, about church. Now, I actually want to, it would be good if I can find a, you know, some type of, well, I'll say I love church because of the community aspect of it. So if I can find a, a community that's like, you know, the same vibration type thing, like that would be very lovely for me and my children. So anyway, so, um, yeah, so I got off track. I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> so I say, okay, so anyway, started the page. Wasn't putting my face out there or nothing like that. But the more and more I got into it, the more and more like I went back and looked at some of my notes that I've written, looked at some of my readings, started recording myself, started getting more confident to the point where I was like, girl, your connection with the divine is, you know, like you tapped in. So then I, um, one day, like I didn't have any of my cars with me and I was, I don't know where I was, but I didn't have any of my cars with me, but I had some note cards and I just got the thought to like, just start right. So just start writing messages out on the note cards. Okay. These cards here. So that's what I started doing. This one is, is messed up, but <laughs> this is the we love you card, like from your ancestors and spirit guides. This is the 555 five, five card. So it, essentially, I'm just telling you like, this is how my journey started is, you know, I it's time to create more. Like I just started writing things out on here. And initially I would write, like say it out loud. And then I'd go back a little later on and kind of like put a little more context to it. Um so I did that for, you know, a couple of them and I had wrote like make the leap. And then it was after that, you know, that I just started because I was doing some readings on my YouTube channel, like with these cards. And then eventually I was like, um, just make a dick or, you know, I got this <laughs> in the site, you know, to like just make a deck, right? So then I wanted to put some type of structure to it. So I started looking at all of like the sayings that I had, that I had written on here. And I was like, well, what if I did it to where it can like correlate to, you know, the tarot to make it just more impactful or whatever. And, and just kind of like, I wanted it to be kind of like a beginner excuse me, like a beginner level deck, essentially, but not just like a regular tarot deck because, you know, it doesn't have all of the tarot, you know, suits and numbers in it, but it's more like a Oracle deck because it has, um, you know, just messages. But then at the same time, the messages are like affirmative as well. So you can use it as like in um, you know, just messages of affirmation, love on yourself so you can properly love others, like things like that. So I wanted it to be something where individuals on multiple parts of their journey could connect with the cards and could relate. So that's how we got started, y'all. And this is how we got here. I went on makeplaycards.com and 
end up making a deck, put my logo out there, and um, yeah, I, I mean, it's 80 cards, so initially, I, I'm not sure how many cards that I, I had initially, but as I realized that I wanted to make it a real thing, that's when I then tried to, like, I really just kind of sat down and, like, cleansed my space and was like, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put this out. Like, what, what else would be beneficial to this? Knowing the mindset of me wanting this to be a tool that anybody can use or that someone is who is at their at their beginner stage could use and and I and and I wanted to make it inclusive because I know there's a lot of uh, you know hesitancy around it because everybody is at different levels of their journey and I've got to the point where I don't judge anybody because of their misunderstanding you know a lack of connection or you know whatever hesitancy or whatever because we all go through that. We're all going through phases, okay? Uh, or this cycle, this journey. And like your journey is individual to you. So that's how I got started. And that's how I am actually, you know, at this point now. And so it's just the beginning though. It's still how I'm viewing this. It's like, it's just the beginning. It's no telling where this will develop and what more will be created as I am led by spirit. So I just wanted to come on here and hopefully this would be an encouragement to someone else to, if you get a nudge to do something, just do it. Like take a small step, get you some note cards, you know what I'm saying? And do it. Get you a canvas. If you want to paint, get you a canvas from the dollar tree dollar store whatever and just start painting stuff and then start showing your work showing your skills like if you want to make beats if you want to write a song like whatever it is whatever it is that you want to do whatever is your skill whatever is your talent whatever is your creative thing just start small start small do it just take some type of action towards it and you never know where it will go. All right. So that's my message for y'all. Um, and you know what? Let's just pull a card and see what other message <laughs> Spirit wants you to have. I'll just, let's see if one falls out. What falls out for you? Okay. And we'll just, we'll just end it there. Hmm. We have swords, mind, intellect, mental, air, thoughts, attitudes, and beliefs. Spirit is saying it's all about you believing in yourself, you using your mind, you using your own intellect to move you in the direction that you're trying to go. Your mind is powerful. Please don't ever doubt that. Your mind is a very powerful thing. Whoa. Your thoughts are valid. Third eye chakra. Inspiration, divine insight. Here we go, y'all. Can you see it? Spirit is saying, Spirit is talking to me. Spirit is talking to you. Don't, don't feel like you just have to, you know, seek outside, you know, assistance somewhere else. Um, Spirit is talking to you too. So trust that. Get these cards to help you also. <laughs> Plug. <laughs> but anyway, link is in the bio. I love y'all. Take care. I hope that... Um, encourage someone to get out there and do what you feel that you need to do. All right. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.